right, it's okay. Uh, hello, uh, my Sveiki. name is uh, Darlene. Mani sauc Darlene. And uh, I come to you from Redding, California. Es atbraukusi no Redingas, no Kalifornijas. And uh, happy to be here. Un esmu priecīga šeit. Come closer to me, come closer to me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so thankful to be here. It's a privilege to be in Latvia for my first time. And I haven't seen very much, but what I've seen so far is beautiful. Uh, Riga is beautiful. And uh, I have a strong affection for fall colors. And I had read that uh, Latvia is very beautiful for autumn colors. And I was so happy to get here and see that the leaves are still here for me. Uh, as we drove through the city, it's like there's this blanket of gold on the ground. And uh, just hearing the Lord say, this is uh, His gold is here in this place. And uh, as I stand here in front of you today, I see that you are His gold. Sometimes we need to stop and think about that more. Uh, we need to become people who are comfortable with recognizing how precious we are. So, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, and, uh, and then I am going to actually ask you to tell me a little bit about you. So, this is a training session. Šis ir tā kā treniņa semināris. Uh, it is not a sermon. Tas nav kā diokalpojums. So that means that um, you get to do some talking also. Tāpēc jūs varēsiet runāt arī. Uh, don't worry, I won't make you talk too much. Don't get nervous. Es, es ne, ne, neteikšu jums runāt ļoti daudz, nenervozējiet. But I do like to have a little bit of feedback from you as we're talking and as we're teaching. Bet nedaudz man patīk šī atpakaļ saikne no jums, kad es mācu. And, and so uh, I will in a few minutes just ask you to tell me uh, your name and uh, what you do in terms of uh, how you serve the Lord here and what church you're from, things Pēc like that. Minūtes, uh, it just helps me get to know you a little bit better and be able to serve you better. Tas man palīdz vienkārši jūs iepazīt vairāk, lai es varētu jums labāk kalpot. So, uh, I am working right now at Bethel Church in Reading. Šobrīd es strādāju Bethels draudzē Redingā. Uh, I have been there for 7 years. Es tur esmu bijis jau 7 gadus. And uh, it has been a huge blessing that the Lord uh, guided us there. Un tā ir bijis milzīga svētība, uh, kad I, Dievs mūs tur vadīja. I am married to an amazing esmu... wonderful husband. Precējusies, man ir brīnišķīgs vīrs. I've been married for 28 years, almost 28 years. Es man precējusies gan drīz 20 gadus. And I have two amazing children. Man ir divi brīnišķīgi bērni. Uh, age 25 and 23. 23 un 25 uh, gadi. A son and a daughter. Uh, meita un dāls. And uh, before we came to Bethel in Reading, pirms mēs atbraucām uz Redingu, uz Bethels uh, draudzi. We had spent almost 20 years on the mission field. Uh, 20 gadus mēs pavadījām gan drīz vai misijā. And uh, I met my husband actually on a mission trip. Un es satiku savu vīru īstenībā misijas brauciena laikā. Uh, I was leading a mission trip and he was assigned to my team. Es vadīju misijas braucienu un viņš bija manā komandā. I had never met him before. Pirms tam es viņu nekad nebiju satikusi. Uh, but we fell in love on the mission field. Bet mēs iemīlējamies uh, misijas braucienu laikā. And I recommend that. Un es to rekomendēju. I think it's a good place to find your spouse. Es domāju, ka tas, tā ir laba vieta, kur atrast savu vīru. Uh, it's worked really well for us. Un priekš mums tas nostrādā ļoti labi. Uh, and uh, so we spent almost 20 years in youth with a mission. Uh, gandrīz 20 gadus mēs pavadījām or... ar kalpošanā um, mi, uh, Jauniešiem ar misiju. Yeah, so some of you might know it. Uh, Jūs daudz varbūt to zinat, pazīstat šo kalpošanu. Yeah, and interestingly enough, we spent uh, 10 years actually ministering in the nation of Romania. Un uh, 12 gadus mēs esam kalpojuši Rumānijā. Uh, we went to Romania right after the fall of communism. Uh, mēs aizbraucām uz Rumāniju tieši, kad sabruka savi, uh, padomju savienības val, uh, valsts. 
Uh, we took our first trip there in 1992. And uh, as probably was similar here at that time, un līdzīgi kā tas bija šeit noteikti. Uh, we were doing a lot of evangelism. Mēs tāpat ļoti daudz evangelizējām. And we were seeing lots of people give their lives to the Lord. Un mēs redzējām ļoti daudz cilvēki, kuri atdod savas dzīves Jēzum. We were traveling around the country. Mēs ceļojām, ceļojām pa visu zemi. And uh, filling big auditoriums with thousands of people. Un uh, lielas auditorijas bija par tūkstoši cilvēkiem. And we would uh, give the salvation message, the invite people to give their lives to Jesus. Un mēs sludinājām evangēlija vēstu un aicinām cilvēkus pieņemt Jēzu. And uh, everyone would raise their hand. Un visi cēla savas rokas. And we thought, oh, you don't understand us. Un mēs domājam, jūs to nesaprotat. So then we would uh, say, wait, we're going to explain it again. Un mēs paskaidrosim jums vēlreiz to. We would do this two or three times and every time it was always the same response. People Divas were so hungry. Trīs reizes mēs to atkārtojām un cilvēku reakcija bija tāda pati. Cilvēki bija ļoti izslāpuši. Izslā, izslāpuši. So as we traveled around the country at that time and doing evangelism, the Lord spoke to me. Tad, kad mēs evangelizējām pa visu to valsti, Dievs uzrunāja mani. He said, uh, you need to pray and, uh, and ask me to send people who will disciple these new believers. Viņš teica, te, tev vajag lūgt un lai uh, nāk cilvēki, kuri darīs par mācekļiem šos cilvēkus. And so you know what happens when you pray a prayer like that, right? Jūs zināt, kas notiek, kad tu lūdz šādu lūkšanu. Uh, it wasn't too long before the Lord asked us to answer that prayer. Nebija tik ilgi, kad uh, Dievs atbildēja šo lūkšanu. And we said yes and we went to Romania. Mēs teicām jā un braucām uz Rumāniju. Uh, with the purpose of discipling the young people into going into all the world and preaching the gospel. Ar mērķi ne tikai sludināt evaņģēliju visā pasaulē, bet darīt par mācekļiem jaunus ticīgos. And just recently, actually last week, un pavisam nesen īstenībā pagājušā nedēļā, uh, my husband and I, we just came back from celebrating our 25th anniversary of the ministry there. Uh, mans vīrs un es mēs atgriezāmies no turienes jau kā 25 gadu jubilē mūsu kalpošanā tur. So uh, I'm coming to you this week uh, with a heart full of gratitude to the Lord. Un uh, šonedēļ es esmu šeit pie jums ar sirdi, kas ir pilna pateicības Dievam. God is so good and he is so faithful. Labs, un viņš ir tik uzticams. Uh, we spent a weekend listening to testimonies of what God has done over the last 25 years through the ministry that we started. Mēs klausījāmies visu nedēļu nogali liecības par to, ko Dievs ir darījis kopš šī par visiem šim 25 gadiem kopš mēs sākām šo kalpošanu. And we have the privilege of still being very connected with the people there. Un uh, mums ir privilēģija būt ļoti saistītiem ar cilvēkiem uh, tur. We love that nation. Mums patīk tā nācija. We love those people. Mums patīk tie cilvēki. And it was amazing to listen to their testimonies of how their lives were changed 22 years ago. Un bija brīnišķīgi dzirdēt liecību, kā 22 gadus atpakaļ viņa dzīves bija mainītas. 25 years ago. 25 gadus atpakaļ. And then they, they stood up and shared their story of how our ministry had changed their lives. Viņi cēlās un stāstīja to, kā mūsu kalpošana ir izmainījusi viņu dzīves. And then they said, not only my life, but now also my children's lives. Un viņi teica, ne tikai mana dzīve, bet tagad arī manu bērnu dzīve ir mainījusies. And I know that um, you as a church, uh, you're just zinu, celebrating draudze, five years of ministry. Drīz svinēsiet piecu gadu jubilēju. Here at Freedom Center. Šeit brīvības centrā. I love the name. Man patīk šis nosaukums. <laughs> It's perfect. Tas ir Perfect. Uh, and I, I wanted to give an encouragement to you. Es gribu jūs iedrošināt. Uh, wherever you are in your ministry. Lai kur jūs nebūt šobrīd jūsu kalpošanā. Uh, whether you've been going for a year or 20 years. Vai jums būs ir gads vai varbūt 20 gadi. The Lord wants to remind you. Dievs grib atgādināt jums. That your yes is powerful. Ka jūsu jā viņam ir spēcīgs. Uh, when we started 25 years ago, kad mēs sākām 25 gadus atpakaļ. We had dreams. Mums bija sapņi. We had visions. Mums bija vīzija. That we thought were from the Lord. Mums likās no Dieva. But every day it was just a dienu. simple walk of faith. Bī vienkārša staigāšana ticībā. It was simply uh, Lord, what do you have for us today? Vienkārši Kungs, kas tev ir priekš mums šodien? And it's easy today after 25 years. Un pēc 25 gadiem ir viegli šodien to celebrate all the great things. Svinēt visas šīs labās lietas. And we can kind of forget all the hard things. Un mēs varam aizmirst grūtības. But there were lots and lots of hard things along the way. Bet šajā ceļā ir daudz, daudz, daudz smagu lietu. 
but what we did, bet tas ko mēs darījām, is that we always gave God our yes. Mēs vienmēr teicām Dievam jā. Yes, Lord. Jā, kungs. We don't understand what's happening, mēs but we trust kas you. Notiek, bet mēs uzticamies tev. Uh, this doesn't look good right now. Šobrīd tas neizskatās labi. But we know you have an answer. Bet mēs zinām, ka tev ir atbilde. My husband and I used to say all the time. Mans uh, vīrs vienmēr ir teicis. Uh, we were like the blind leading the blind following the Holy Spirit. Likas, ka mēs kā akli vadam aklus, uh, kad mūs vada svētais gars. Because there was lots of days we didn't know what to do. Jo daudzas dienas mēs nezinājām, ko darīt. But the Holy Spirit always knew what to do. Bet svētais gars vienmēr zina, ko darīt. And so as you are uh, following after the Lord, un ja jūs sekojat kungam, I want to tell you that you don't have to have all the answers. Es jums pateikšu, ka jums nevajag uh, zināt atbildes uz visu. You, you don't always need to know exactly what to do next. Jums nevienmēr ir jāzina, ko darīt tālāk. But what you do need to do is continue to listen. Bet tas, ko jums vajag, tas ir turpināt klausīties. And there were lots of times that we took a step forward. Un daudzas reizes mēs speram soli uz priekšu, thinking it was the Lord. Domājot, ka tas ir kungs. And we hit a wall. Un mēs mums priekšā siena, mēs atduramies. And instead of being mad at ourselves, un lai būt dusmoties pašiem uz sevi, or mad at God, vai dusmoties uz Dievu. We just very innocently would say, okay, this wasn't the right way. What is the right way, Lord? Mēs ļoti nevienīgi varam pateikt, okay, tas nebija pareizs lēmums. Kāds ir pareizs lēmums Dievs? Sometimes we put too much pressure on ourselves to have to have it all figured out. Dažreiz mēs paši sev uzliekam pārāk lielu spiedienu, lai visu saprastu. And of course, it's good to have wisdom un protams, and strategy and counsel. Un stratēģija un pamācība. Those things are good. Tas ir labi. But most importantly is my ability to hear from the Lord. Bet pats sarīgākais tomēr ir mana spēja dzirdēt. And to Dievu. not get mad at myself when I get it wrong. Un nedusmoties pašai uz sevi, ja es kļūdos. God isn't mad at me when I get it wrong. Dievs nedusmojas, kad es kļūdos. We want to stay in that position of being childlike. Mēs paliekam tajā pozīcijā, ka mēs esam kā bērni. Oh, that wasn't the right way, daddy. Okay, what is? Un tas bija nepareizi tēti, kā, kā būtu pareizi. And he's such a good dad. Un viņš ir tik labs tētis. He loves to just guide us and direct us. Viņam patīk vienkārši mūs vadīt un norādīt. And I, we also learned this other very important truth. Un es iemācījos vēl kādu ļoti svarīgu patiesību. Uh, how many of you use your phone for directions around driving directions? Cik daudz no jums lieto telefonu yeah. kā navigāciju, lai aizbrauktu kaut kur? A lot of us use our smartphones to daudziem ir Tell us where to go, right? Telefoni, uz kuriem ir navigators, kas mums parāda norādes, kur mums jābrauc. And what's one of the things we love the most about our directions on our smartphone? Un kas mums vislabāk patīk no navigācijas? Is that when I make a wrong turn, tas ir tad, kad es nepareizi nogriežos. It does this beautiful thing called redirecting or rerouting. Viņš dara to skaisto lietu, ka viņš um, atrod jaunu ceļu. Right? I don't know about you, but my smartphone, my smartphone doesn't yell at me. Bet mans telefons nekliedz uz mani. Uh, it's not mad at me. Viņš nedusmo doesn't call me stupid. Viņš nesauc mani par stulbu. It just nicely says rerouting. Viņš vienkārši jauķi pasaka, kad uh, viņš atradis jaunu ceļu. And then right in front of me I see a new direction. Un es redzu sev priekšā, man ir jaunas norādes. And, and I have learned through my years of ministry that the Holy Spirit is the best one at rerouting us. Un savā kalpošanas laikā es esmu sapratusi, ka Svētais Gars ir labākais, kas mums uh, parāda jaunus ceļus. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the original uh, rerouting, redirecting. Svētais Gars ir oriģināls na- navigators. So if I'm going my way following the Lord un and ja I take a wrong turn. Un kungam un es daru nepareizu pagriezienu. Uh, when I realize I've made a wrong turn, I just ask Holy Spirit, which way do I go? Tad kad es to saprotu, tad es vienkārši prasu kungam, kur lai seju tālāk. See, so many of us believe the lie. Daudzi no mums tic meliem. That if I go this direction, ka ja es aiziešu šajā virzienā, but God wanted me to go this direction. Bet Dievs gribēja, ja lai seju šajā virzienā. That I'm going to mess up everything. Tad es visu sabojāšu. I'm going to ruin my life or es someone else's life. visu savu dzīvi vai kāda cita dzīvi. So the important thing is that as soon as I remember or realize that Svarīgi I'm going the wrong direction. Ir tas, ka tad, tad kad es apzinos, ka es aizgāju nepareizi. I ask Holy Spirit to fix it. Es vienkārši lūdzu Svēto Garu, lai viņš to izlabo. And he's the best fixer that there Un is. Viņš ir vislabākais situācijas izlabotājs. As leaders, kā līderi, we have to remember and realize, mums ir jāatceras un jāsaprot. 
that God is so much bigger than our mistakes. Ka Dievs ir tik daudz lielāks par mūsu kļūdām. And it's no problem for him to reroute us. Un viņam nav problēmas mūs apvest. We just want to be keep keep on listening. Mēs mums vajag tikai klausīties, turpināt klausīties. Want to stay childlike. Un vajag vienkārši turpināt palikt kā bērni. Say I'm I'm trusting you Lord to lead me and guide me. Dievs ir uzticos tev, ka tu mani vadīsi. Sometimes we are Dažreiz going uh, this direction. Mēs ejam šajā virzienā. And things kind of blow up, things kind of go bad. Un lietas notiek ļoti slikti. Have you ever had that happen? I've had Vai that happen. Vai ir noticis? Come on, raise your hand. Thank you. All right, I'm not alone. Thank you. <laughs> That's a liet rokas. All right. Paldies. Yeah. And that is when I get to see God be big. Un tajos mirkļos ieraugu, cik Dievs ir liels. So I don't make a mess on purpose. Es speciāli nedaru šīs kļūdes. But in my effort, in my heart to please the Lord Bet and to follow sirdī, the Lord. Lai izpatiktu Dievam, lai sekotu viņam. If I happen to make a mistake, ja es izdaru šo kļūdu, and something goes terribly wrong, un kaut kas ļoti aiziet ne tā kā vajag. Uh, my eyes need to instantly go to him. Manām acīm momentā vajag pacelties uz viņu. Just like a small child, when a small child spills bērns. milk, kurš piemēram izlai pienu. We look up at your parent, right? Viņš paskatās uz savu vecāku. Oops, sorry. Piedod. Could you clean that up? Vai tu nevarētu to notīrīt? God is the best cleaner upper that there is. Dievs ir vislabākais iztīrītājs, kāds vien ir. So we can relax them. Mēs varam atslāpināties. It doesn't mean that we are not very um we want we want to be faithful people. Mēs gribam būt uzticami. We want to be people who are seeking the Lord. Mēs gribam būt cilvēki, kas meklē kungu. And we're listening as carefully as we can. Un mēs klausamies uzmanīgi, cik vien mēs varam. But we don't want to be people who are frozen or paralyzed with fear. Bet mēs negribam būt cilvēki, kas ir paralizēti aiz bailēm. And this is one of the things I want to bring to you today. Un šī ir tā viena no lietām, ko es gribu jums šodien atraisīt. Because I don't think it's a coincidence that just last week I was celebrating 25 years of ministry and now this week I'm here with Jo, es domāju, ka tā nav sakritība, ka tikko pagājušajā nedēļas nogalēs sinē 25 gadu jubilēju mūsu kalpošanai tajā valstī. And so I've been thinking. Es šeit, un so es domāju, what are some of the major lessons I've learned? Kādas ir lielākās tās tā skola, ko es esmu sapratusi? And one of the major lessons is do not be paralyzed by the fear of failure. Un tiešām lielākais ir tas, neesi paralizēts aiz bailēm. This fear that we often have of making a mistake. Bailes izdarīt kļūdu. Uh, I don't know if I'm hearing God right or not. Es nezinu, vai es dzirdu šobrīd Dievu pareizi vai ne, nepareizi. And we could talk for hours about hear to god's how about hear about how to hear god's voice un mēs stundām pat varam runāt par to kā dzirdēt dievu balsi but what i want to give you today bet tas ko es gribu jums iedot šodien is freedom to trust yourself brīvība uzticēties sev but most importantly to trust him bet visvairāk uzticēties viņam so in a very short short way īsi our job is to listen īsumā mūsu darbs ir klausīties his job is to speak viņa darbs ir runāt and our job is to respond mūsu darbs ir vienkārši atsaukties tam so most of us understand oh i want to know what god wants me to do we understand the asking part daudz nav mums saprot šo daļu kad es saprotu ka man ir jāprasa dievam ko man darīt but for many of us the the hearing bet daudziem no mums šī klausīšanās can i hear Vai es varu Can dzirdēt? I hear clearly? Vai es varu skaidri dzirdēt? Is God really speaking to me? Vai Dievs tiešām runā uz mani? Begin to trust that he is speaking to you. Sāc ticēt tam, ka viņš runā uz tevi. He wants to talk to us. Viņš grib runāt uz mums. He is longing to speak to us. Viņš ilgojās runāt uz mums. It's what we're made for. Tas ir tas priekš kā mēs esam radīti. You and I first and foremost are made for a relationship with him. Es un jūs pirmkārt esam radīti priekš attiecībām ar viņu. And how can you have a relationship with someone if you can't hear them? Un kā jums varbūt attiecības ar kādu, ja jūs viņu nedzirdat? Right? I can know all about you. Es varu zināt visu par tevi. But if you never talk to me, we really don't have a relationship. Bet ja tu nekad nerunā ar mani, tad mums īsti nav attiecību. So the Bible is this beautiful tool. Bībele ir šis brīnišķīgais instruments that tells us all about God. Kas mums pastāsta visu par Dievu. But another thing that's very important, bet otra lieta, kas ir ļoti svarīga, is our ability to sit and listen to him talk directly to us. Ir vienkārši sēdēt un klausīties, ko viņš runā tie 
tieši uz mums. And he wants to do that. Un viņš vēlas to darīt. So we listen, we ask questions mēs and we listen. Mēs, mēs uzdodam jautājumus un mēs and klausamies. Then I want to encourage you from this day forward. Es iedrošinu jūs no šīs dienas. Just automatically expect that he's going to answer you. Vienkārši automātiski sagaidi, ka viņš tev atbildēs. He's not silent. Viņš nav klus. He's actually speaking all the time. Viņš īstenībā runā visu laiku. So, uh, I want to uh, declare over you that your ears are open. Es pasludinu par jums, ka jūs ausis ir atvērtas. That your spiritual ears are open today. Jūsu garīgās ausis ir atvērtas šodien. And that it's easy for you to hear your loving heavenly father talk to you. Jums ir viegli dzirdēt jūsu mīlošo tēvu, kurš runā uz jums. He's wildly in love with you. Viņš ir traķi iemīlējies jūsus. He's not mad at you. Viņš nedusmojas uz jums. He loves you. Viņš mīl jūs. And he wants to talk to you. Un viņš grib runāt ar jums. So then once we are convinced that he wants to talk to us. Tad, kad mēs esam pārliecināti par to, ka viņš grib runāt ar mums. Then of course we have to be convinced that we can hear clearly. Tad, protams, mums ir jābūt pārliecinātiem, ka mēs varam arī dzirdēt skaidri. And the only way that you can learn whether or not you're hearing clearly. Vienīgais veids, kā jūs varat saprast, vai jūs varat dzirdēt skaidri, is by actually taking a step and doing something. Ir vienkārši sperot soli un pa īstam kaut ko sāk, sākot darīt. Right, I can sit here. Es varu sēdēt šeit. Listening, listening, un klausīties, listening, klausīties un klausīties. And never moving. Un nekad nekustēties. But the kingdom of God is advancing. Bet Dieva valstība ir kustībā. It is way easier for God to speak to you when you're moving. Daudz vieglāk Dievam ir runāt uz tevi, kad when you're sitting kustībā. still. Nekā, kad tu sēdi. And I have learned the most by bumping into the wall. Es visvairāk esmu mācījusies no tā, kad es esmu atdurusies pret sienu. Oh, that wasn't you, Lord, that was Tas me. Tas nebī tu, kungs, tā oh, bija okay, es. I'm going to go back and listen. Es vienkārši atgriezīšos atpakaļ un klausīšos. Oh, okay, yes, that was you. Oh, oh labi, šis okay, bija tu. Oh, that tagad you, es redzu, oh, es okay. saprotu, šis bija tu. So, so uh, as the name of this place is freedom. Tā kā šīs vietas nosaukums ir brīvība. We want to become leaders who are not afraid of Mēs trying. Būt līderi, kuri nebaidās taking a risk. Un darīt risku. Being free. Esot brīvi. And and while I'm trying, un kamēr es mēģinu, I'm listening. Es klausos. Holy Spirit, am I going in the right Svētās direction? Sveicās vai es eju pareizā virzienā. There's been many times when I have been Daudzas reizes. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Man ir bijis tā, ka man liekas, man jāiet šajā virzienā. Or I think the Lord wants me to do this thing. Man liekas, ka Dievs grib lai es daru šo lietu. Or say this thing. Vai saku šo. And in faith, right? By faith. Ticībā, jo ar ticību. I step in this direction. Es speru šajā virzienā. And I'm just continuing to listen. Un es turpinu klausīties. So that he can guide me. Lai viņš var mani vadīt. But the most important thing for us today is to become unparalyzed. Priekš mums šodien ir kļūt beidzot neparalizētiem. The Lord wants to speak to you today and say, Dievs grib runāt uz jums šodien un you have permission? Jums ir atļauja? Actually as leaders in the kingdom. Valstībā. Your responsibility jūsu atbildība is to be listening ir klausīties and moving. Un kustēties. And let him train you as you go. Un ļaut viņam jūs trenēt kustībā. Ha, have you ever um, gone in a direction and, and as you got there you realized it wasn't the Lord? Vai jūs kādā kādā virzienā un pēc tam sapratis, okay. ka tas yeah. nebī Dievs. It's happened to me. Yeah. Okay, if it's never happened to you, then you're not nekad, moving in enough directions, right? Nekad nav noticis uh, ar jums, tad uh, jū, jūs nekust... Uh, jū, jū. If it hasn't happened to you, then you're not moving enough. Tad jūs nepietiekoši daudz kustaties, ja tas nekad nav noticis ar jums. So I want to encourage you today to take some risks. Es gribu iedrošināt jums šodien darīt šo risku. And to not be afraid of getting it wrong. Nebaidīties, kļūdīties. Because even when we get it wrong, jo pat, ja mēs daram nepareizi, God is really faithful at fixing Dievs things. ir uzticams, lai izlabotu lietas. And he's so beautifully good at redirecting us. Un viņš ļoti skaisti mūs pa, vada pa jauniem ceļiem. But I believe that one es of ticu, the biggest challenges in the church today, viens no lielākajiem izaicinājumiem draudzēm šodien, is that people are frozen in fear of ir, making a mistake. Ka cilvēki ir sasaldēti ar bailēm izdarīt kļūdu. And I tell you all that story because that is 
asta. That's one of the things that we learned in our 25 years of working in Romania. Jo šī ir tā lieta, ko mēs esam ļoti iemācījušies 25 gadus kalpojot Rumānijā. If we had not been willing to take risks ja and step out, to riska soļus un neietu uz then, priekšu, uh, then what we celebrated last week would never have happened. Tad tas, ko mēs svinējām pagājušajā nedēļas nogalītas nogalētas nekad nebūtu noticis. So each one of you here today, you're here Katras because you're a leader. Katrs no šeit, tāpēc ka jūs esat līderi. And that means that the Lord has called you as specifically to do specific things for him. Tas nozīmē, ka Dievs jūs ir aicinājis darīt specifiskas lietas priekš viņa. And I have perhaps some bad news for you. Un man ir varbūt sliktas ziņas priekš jums. Whatever it is that he's called you to do, like what Dios now I tell you, you study it. You won't see ten steps ahead. You will not see the ten soils of prayer. Usually, it's just Parasti, one or two steps. Tas ir viens, varbūt divi soļus priekšu. How many people like to see twenty steps ahead? Six to like you can't read that two ten soils of prayer. I'd like to see a hundred steps ahead. I can't read that six soils of prayer. But this is where I stand today. Uh, again, uh, reflecting on twenty-five years. Un bet te es stāv pēc 25 gadiem. Uh, we did not know 25 years ago that we'd be standing where we are today. 25 gadus atpakaļ mēs nezinājām, ka mēs stāvēsim tur, kur mēs stāvam šodien. But in order to get to this place. Bet lai tiktu līdz šai vietai. We had to step one step at a time. Mēs vienkārši soli pa solim gājām uz priekšu. And the Lord was faithful to lead us. Un Dievs bija uzticams mūs vadīt. And he will be the same for you. Un viņš tieši tāds pats būs priekš jums. He has everything you need to do what he's called you to do. Viņam ir viss priekš jums, kas jums ir vajadzīgs, lai Jūs varat izdarīt In fact, to, he's already aicina. put it inside of you. Un viņš ir ielicis jūsos. So our job is to just step out and let that come out. Un mūsu uzdevums ir vienkārši iziet un ļaut tam notikt. Okay, so um, I wanted to do a little bit of prophesying this morning. Uh, es jūtu varbūt, ka es gribu nedaudz pravietot šodien, šorīt. What time do you want to take a break? Cikos Pārtraukums? <laughs> What time do you want to take a break? No? Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm just going to, we'll just move this way, because yes. I want to be able to see you. I can't see you with the lights in my eyes. Um, okay. So, you guys understand what prophecy is? Jūs saprotat, kas ir pravietošana? So, prophecy is not, uh, the New Testament prophecy is not calling out sin. Jaunās derības pravietošana nav norādīt uz grēku. There's a big difference between New Testament prophecy and Old Testament ir prophecy. Ir ļoti liela atšķirība starp vecās derības pravietošana un jaunās derības pravietošana. Uh, again, as uh, I have a lot of experience in ministering in Eastern Europe. Man ir daudz pieredzes kalpojot um, I understand that a lot of people in the church, when they think hear the word prophecy, they think of the Old Testament prophecy. Es zinu, ka daudz cilvēki, kad dzird par pravietošanu, viņi domā par vecās darības pravietošanu. So, just to remind you that Lai jums atgādinātu. Uh, we are uh, only doing New Testament prophecy. Mēs tikai pravietojam pēc jaunās darības pravietošanas. And as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, pirmajā, korintieš, pirmajā vēstulē Korintiešam 14. nodaļā ir teikts, uh, Paul tells us there that he actually desires that all of us would prophesy. Pavel saka, ka viņš uh, grib, lai mēs visi varētu pravietot. Uh, do you know why? Why does he say it? Why kāpēc does he say we saka? should all prophesy? Does anyone know? Vai kāds zina, kāpēc viņš to saka? Anyone remember? Yes. That's right. Yes, and he Tāpēc ka mēs visi esam aicināti, lai celtu draudzi. And Paul actually says that's the best thing that we could do with our mouths. Paul saka, ka tas ir labākais, ko mēs varam darīt. And so uh, we want to be prophesying and practicing prophecy. Mēs gribam pravietot un praktizēt pravietošanu. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more probably tomorrow. Un mēs arī rīt par to vairāk arī parunāsim. Okay, so prophecy is for encouragement. Pravietošana ir iedrošināšanai. Uh, strengthening. Stiprināšana and comforting un uh, mierināšanai and uh, just another reminder quickly uh, vēl es jums gribu atgādināt 
is that uh, the prophetic word is now in the Old Testament we used to judge the prophet. Uh, uh, we used yeah, in the Old Testament we were told that the prophet was judged. But in the New Testament uh, we, uh, in the New Testament we are instructed to judge the prophecy. Mēs esam aicināti tiesāt pravietojumus. So what does that mean? Ko tas nozīmē? That means if I get it wrong, ja es kļūdos, you can't stone me. Jums, jūs nevarat man nomentāt akmiņiem. But you can get rid of the word. Bet jūs varat vienkārši atbrīvoties no tā vārda. Okay? So uh, we like to, I like to encourage people es that iedrošināt cilvēkus. Um, if I give you a prophetic word and ja it doesn't make any sense to you at all. Dodu jums pravietis, ko vārdu jums tas pilnībā neko nenozīmē. I always encourage people just put it on a shelf. Es iedrošinu cilvēkus vienkārši nolikt to plauktā. The spiritual shelf. Es garīgajā plauktā. And ask the Lord if that's you then bring it back. Un uh, teik Dievam, ka ja tas būs vajadzīgs, lai viņš to atved atpakaļ. I've received many prophetic words in my life. Man bija es es esu saņēmis daudz profētiskus vārdus. That didn't mean anything to me at the time. Tas man neko nenozīmēja tajā laikā. And I used to think, oh, that was a bad word. Un man likās, oh, tas bija slikts vārds. And then maybe a month later I would get the exact same word. Bet pēc mēneša es saņēmu atkal tieši tādu pašu vārdu. Oh, maybe that wasn't such a bad domāju, word. Varbūt tas tomēr nebija tik slikts vārds. And then maybe I get it again later. Un pēc tam vēlreiz. So this is why now uh, when I teach on prophecy, which I do uh, often, un tad kad es mācu par pravietošanu, ko es daru bieži, uh, I always tell people just take it and put it on your spiritual shelf. Es saku cilvēkiem paņemiet to, noliekat to garīgajā plauktā. And uh, ask the Lord to bring it up to you if it's really the Lord asking to bring it to you again. Un ja tas tiešām no Dieva, tad lūdziet, lai Dievs vēlreiz uz jums to runā. Okay, so you don't need to be nervous. Jums nevajag nervozēt. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to a lot of times people are super nervous. Daudzas reizes cilvēki ir super nervozi. Uh, like, like okay, so uh, the most common thing is God please choose me, God please don't choose me. Uh, visbiežākās uh, lietas ir tā, kad viens domā, uh, Dievs lūdzu neizvēlies mani, un cits domā, Dievs lūdzu izvēlies mani. Right? We're like, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> jā, nē, oh, I'm jā, afraid. Nē. Oh, I'm, I want it, I don't want it. Es to gribu, es to negribu. We have a love hate relationship with prophecy. Mums ir daudz tādas attiecības. So you can just relax, you can just take a deep breath. Atkārši atslābināties un elpot. God is good. Dievs ir labs. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start with you right here. Gribu sākt ar Yep, aha. Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell me your name. Dev vari pateikt savu vārdu. Ilza. Ilza. Okay, can you stand up for me? Okay, so uh, because this is a training, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Tāpēc, ka tas ir kā treniņš, es jums, tad, kad es to darīšu, es teikšu, stāstīšu jums, ko es daru. And we're going to talk more about prophecy tomorrow, and you can ask me questions. Un rīt mēs runāsim vēl vairāk par pravietošanu, jūs varēsiet uzdot man jautājumus. Okay, so again, I'm just telling you my process. Es jums vienkārši stāstu savu procesu. Uh, this isn't normally how I would do it like on a Sunday morning or something. So I'm looking around the room. Es skatos talpā. And I'm just asking the Holy Spirit to highlight someone to me. Lūdzu svētajam garam, lai viņš izgaismo kādu priekš manis. So uh, in my natural sense, in my natural me, manī manā dabiskajā es, um, I want to start here. Es gribu sākt šeit. And I want to go through the entire room. Un tad es vienkārši ietu pa visu talpu. Because I don't want to miss anybody. Jo es negribu nevienu palaist garām. Uh, and that would be super fun. Un tas būtu ļoti interesanti. But we don't have time, right? Bet mums nav laiks. So I have to listen to Holy Spirit. Tāpēc es klausos Svēto garu. So, um, you are highlighted to me. Uh, un Dievs izgaismoja mani te, uh, tevi man. I want to tell you what I mean when I say highlighted. Un es paskaidrošu, ko es ar to domāju, ka Dievs izgaismoja. Um, I did not see a bright light es around you. Es neredzēju gaišu gaismu. There, uh, there was not a shaft of light coming from Nebija heaven. Nebija nekāda gaismas stars, kas nāca no debesīm. Uh, it's more simple than that. Tas ir daudz vienkārši. At least for me. Vismas priekš manis. Okay, I am just listening to Holy Spirit. Es vienkārši Who klausos svēto gāju, uz kuru tu vēlies runāt. And then I, okay, I think it's you. Un tad es domāju, vienkārši, man liekas, ka tā es so, tu. Am I a hundred percent sure? Vai es esmu pārliecināta? No, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Nē, es neesmu. But this is the beautiful thing about prophecy. Bet tas ir brīnišķīgais par pravietošanu. Is that God is dying to speak to every single one of you. Dievs vēlās runāt uz katru no jums. So I can't really get it wrong. 
Tāpēc īstenībā tu pat nevari kļūdīties. So I don't mean that in a way of being <laughs> It's comforting, right? Tas ir mierinoš, vai ne? <laughs> Everyone goes <sighs> Let's just all take a deep breath, right? Okay, so I don't mean that disrespectfully. Es to nedomāju necienīgi. I don't mean that to be casual about prophecy. Pravietošana ir kaut kas tik ikdienišķis. I mean it to say that so that we relax. Ar to es domāju vienkārši atslābināt jūs. Uh, scripture tells us uh, Bībala mums stāsta, saka that God's thoughts towards us are as many as the sands of the sea. Ka Dieva domas par mums ir tik daudz kā smiltis jūrmalā. That's a lot of thoughts. Tas ir ļoti daudz domas. And he's thinking that about every single one of you. Par katru no jums. So as a prophet, as someone who's going to prophesy, pravietis, viens no, no tiem, kas pravietos, all I'm going to do is listen ir klausīšos. And just ask the Lord to tell me some of his thoughts about you. Un vienkārši lūkšu sētiem garam atkal kādas domas par tevi. So, I'm not 100% sure. Es neesmu 100% pārliecināta. There wasn't a big sign over her head that said pick her. Viņš galvas nebī uzraksts izvēlies viņu. But in my heart and my Bet spirit I thought, manā okay. Garā, es sajutu. So, I'm telling you all this to say that you can be 80% sure, you can be 75% sure. But here's what I believe. Bet tas, kam es ticu. As soon as I say you, kad tikko es pateicu tevi, then she is 100% it. Viņa paliek 100%. Do you understand what I'm saying? Saprotat, ko es gribu pateikt? I don't have to be like, oh man, it was her. Oh. Man nav tāds, tā kā, vai tā nebī viņa, vai... God is not like, oh, you missed it. Dievs nav tā, ka, nu, tu... I don't have anything to say to her, I was only going to talk to her. Es... God is not saying, I don't have anything to say to her, I only am going to talk to her. Dievs nesaka tā, man nav ko viņai teikt, es gribu runāt tikai uz viņu. Okay, you understand? Jūs saprotat. So, we just take a deep breath. Tāpēc vienkārši varam And we just stay chi- we just stay childlike. Un paliekam kā bērni. Right God, I'm just following you the best I know how. Es vienkārši sekoju tev labāk kā es to protu. And I'm trusting you to be faithful. Un uzticos, ka tu esi uzticams. Okay, and the other thing I want to tell you. Visko es gribu pateikt tev. Is that my mind is not full of a word before she stands up. Ka mans prāts arī nav pilns pirms viņa pieca, piecajās. Some, sometimes I have things in my head before I Dažreiz say some, call someone up. Man ir jau kaut kādas domas pirms es kādu pasaucu. But prophecy is an act of faith. Bet pravietošana ir ļoti aktīva ticība. And the more that I step out in faith, un jo vairāk es izeju ticībā, the more powerful God meets me. Jo spēcīgāk Dievs uh, atbild man. When I first started prophesying, kad es tikko sāku pravietot, I like to write it all down. Beforehand. And that's not a bad thing. But for me, but in my journey of trusting God, the Lord has said, trust me to fill your mouth. So even right now, as I'm looking at you, I don't have anything in my mind yet. But what I've learned, as I start to speak, Runāt, uh, my mind will fill up. Man, mans prāts piepildīsies. Why is that? K- kāpēc tā notiek? Why doesn't God give it to us before? Kāpēc Dievs nedot pirms tam? It would be so much nicer. Būtu daudz patīkamā. <laughs> and I believe it's because of faith. Es domāju, ka tas ir dēļ ticības. Trust, it's a journey of trust. Tas ir tā kā uzticības ceļojums. And prophecy is this beautiful partnership between me and the Holy Spirit. Pravietošana ir šī sadarbība starp mani un Svēto Garu. The Holy Spirit wants to speak to you. Svētais Gars vēlas runāt uz tevi. <laughs> You're waiting patiently. Tu gaidi pacietīgi. <laughs> But the Holy Spirit can't speak to you unless I open my mouth. Bet sēdēs gars nerunās, ja es neatvēršu savu muti. So why am I telling you all this? Kāpēc es jums to stāstu? Because so many times we don't do anything or say anything because we don't know what to say or do. Tāpēc ka daudzreiz mēs neko nesakam, jo mēs nezinām, ko teikt un nedaram, jo nezinām, ko darīt. But as I told you at the beginning, bet tā kā es jums teicu sākumā. 1 Corinthians 14, pirmā vēsta Korintiešiem 14. Paul nodenā, says, I, w- I wish everyone would prophesy. Paul saka, es gribētu, ka visi no jums pravietoti. Because if you did, then the church would be strengthened. Jo, ja jūs to darītu, draudze būtu 
celtos. So my personal vision, mana personīgā vīzija, passion, un mana kaisla, is to see everyone in the church prophesying. Ir, ka es redzētu, ka visi draudzē pravieto. Could you imagine if the, around the whole world, the Vai whole body of Christ, iedomāties, ka everyone was prophesying? Visa Kristus miesa varētu pravietot. It would be a totally different body of Christ. Tas, tā būtu pilnīgi cita Kristus miesa. So part of it is that we need to get uh, free Daļai mums jākļūst brīviem from making mistakes. Darīt šīs kļūdas. Okay. I'm sorry, tell me your name again. Ilza. 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 Okay, Ilza. So, I'm seeing right now um, in your life that the, you are such a faithful woman. Es redzu šobrīd, ka tu esi ļoti uzticama sieviete. So, I'm going to tell her some things that God thinks about her. Es pateikšu dažas lietas, ko Dievs domā par viņu. And I'm going to affirm her identity first. Un uh, apstiprināšu viņas identitāti. So, I always try to do that. Es vienmēr cenšos to darīt. I ask the Lord, what, what do you see in her? Es lūdzu Dievu, un ko tu redzi viņā? Lord, when you look at her, what Kad do you see that nobody viņu? else sees? Ko tu redzi to, ko citi neredz? Or maybe everyone else sees it, but God Varbūt wants you to know that redz, he sees it. Bet Dievs grib, lai tu zini, ka viņš to redz. And after I ask the Lord for some identity words, un tad, kad es runāju dažus identitātes vārdus, then I'm going to be listening for what the Lord's calling you into next. Tad es uh, klausīšos, ko Dievs saka tev tālāk. So, uh, you, have a, you have a actually beautiful a beautiful pure heart. Tev ir ļoti skaista tīra sirds. You've been so faithful to the Lord. Tu esi ļoti uzticama Dievam. I'm just going to move over because I was blinded by the light. <laughs> Not the light of heaven. Um, so I see I see your faithfulness. Es redzu tavu uzticamību. And you have stayed pure through some situations that have been super super hard to stay pure. Un uh, ļoti ļoti grūtās situācijas, kur ir bijis grūti palikt Tīra, tu esi palikusi tīra. Uh, you've kept your heart pure before the Lord. Tu esi turēis savu sirdi tīru Dievu priekšā. And the Lord sees your purity. Un Dievs redz tavu tīrību. And there's lots of people around you who are who are watching you. Un daudz cilvēku apkārt tev viņi vēro. And you've been an incredible beautiful example of God's goodness and faithfulness. Tu esi bijis par ļoti labu piemēru Dievu labestībai un uzticībai. Uh, you're a person that other people look to for strength. Uh, you are a person who other people look to for strength. Citi cilvēki tevī meklē spēku. And uh, the Lord has been like a pillar of strength for you. Un Dievs ir bijis šis spēks priekš tevis. And there's people in your life that you're wondering, do they even notice? Un uh, tu domā, ir cilvēki tavā dzīvē, vai viņi vispār to pamana? <laughs> And the Lord is wanting to tell you today that they see it. Un Dievs grib tev pateikt, ka viņi to redz. And he is actually drawing their hearts more and more to him. Un uh, vi- viņš ar vien vairāk un vairāk viņus sirdi svelk. Because of the way that you live your life. Pie sevis. And because of dzīves, your faithfulness. Kā tu dzīvo savu dzīvi dēļ tā, cik uzticama tu esi. And up until now, un līdz šim mirklim, uh, there's been a, it's been a challenge for you to uh, not look at failures. Uh, tev bija grūti skatīt, tā kā neskatīties uz kļūdām. But the Lord actually today is wanting to say, hey, I just want you to look at all of your success. Bet uh, tieši šodien es jūtu, ka Dievs grib pateikt, ka skaties uz savu uh, izdošanos. He wants you to actually be no longer um, pulled down. Viņš negrib, lai tu uh, joprojām tā kā tevi kaut kas vēl uz leju. Or discouraged. Uh, bet, vai tu jūties neiedrošināt. The enemy has tried to cause you to uh, sometimes look at all the negative, all the failures. Uh, bieži vien varbūt uh, skatījusies uz neveiksmēm. But uz God, only, God only sees your success. Bet Dievs redz tikai to, kas tevi ir izdevies. Yeah, and, and the Lord is saying that the next season that he has for you nākamā sezona, kas viņam ir priekš tevis is full of strength. Ir and power spēku. You're going to see the power of the Lord work through you in greater ways than you've ever seen before. Tu redzēsi Dieva spēku izpaužamies tavā dzīvē vairāk kā tu jebkad to esi redzējis. And um, even in your work uh, you don't work in the church. Un tavā darbā tu Do you work in the church tu, or you work outside the church? Strādā, tu strādā arī nedraudzē. You have some work outside the church. So I'm seeing you in your work outside the church. Es redzu, ka tu strādā ārpus draudzes. And you're going to start uh, Okay, not start. You're going to continue to be praying for people. Tu turpināsi lūgt par cilvēkiem. And you're going to see miracles happen. Un tu redzēsi, kā notiek brīnums. Particularly in the area of healing. 
tieši cietināšanā. Uh, there's people that are coming to you for inner Cilvēki healing kūrinā, for uh, heart issues. Iekšējais dziedināšanas. And it's going to be easier than it ever has been before. Un tas būs vieglāk nekā agrāk. What's been hard in the past is going to become easy. Tas, kas bija sagrāk smagi, tas kļūs viegli. Yeah, and, and it's because of all that God has deposited in you. Un viss tas, ko Dievs tevī ir uh, and ielicis. All that he's done in you up until today. Viss, ko viņš ir darījis tevī līdz šodienai. It is gold. Tas ir zelts. It is powerful. Tas ir spēcīgi. Yeah, and you're going to lay hands on people for inner healing. Tu vari likt rokas uz cilvēkiem un lūkt par iekšējo dziedināšanu. And they're going to encounter the Holy Spirit in a brand new way. Viņi svēto garu pavisam jaunā veidā. And what used to take six months for healing un tas, kas ir prasījis sešus mā- mēnešus, is going to happen in moments. Tas būs moments. Yeah, and the heart that you have for people Sirds, who are emotionally broken, kas tev ir priekš cilvēkiem, kur ir emocionāli salausti, uh, that is a heart God has given you that birth. Dievs tev ir devis šo nastu. He's given you that vision. Viņš ir devis tev šo vīziju. And so he's going to give you the power. Viņš dos tev and the strength and the wisdom and how to minister to those people. Kā kalpot šādiem cilvēkiem. Yeah, and so I just speak blessing over you. Es svētīju tevi. Yeah, I bless you, I bless you in your ministry. Svētīju tev kalpošanu. Yeah, I bless you uh, in your ministry to the brokenhearted. Svētīju, ka tu kalposi uh, salaustiem cilvēkiem. And what has taken a long time in the past is Un going to be fast. Tas, kas agrāk bija ilgi, pras ilgu laiku, tas būs ātri tagad. Yeah, I bless you with ātri. greater faith than ever before. Es svētīju tev ar lielāku žēlistību, kā tas ir bijis līdz šim. Uh, the Lord is excited to work in you and through you. Un uh, Dievs ir sajūsmā darboties tevī un ap tevi. You have a beautiful partnership with God. Tev ir brīnišķīgas attiecības. And I bless you, I bless you to svētīju tevi. see signs and wonders like never before. Lai tu redzi zi- Mēs esam brīnumus kā vēl nekad. Yeah, and the Lord has not forgotten your family. Un Dievs nav aizmirsis tavu ģimeni. He's working in your family. Viņš darbojas tavā ģimenē. And he's drawing their hearts to him. Un viņš viņu sirdis vēl pie sevis. And you and your family will serve the tu Lord. Tu un tava ģimene jūs kalposiet. Yeah, and not one will be lost. Neviens ne ne ies And your faithfulness is a light, is a guiding light in your family. Tava uzticamība ir kā yeah, gaisma. Thank you Jesus. Priekš tavas ģimenes. Amen. Bless you. Yeah, thank you Jesus. Okay, so again because this is a training, because we're training. Tāpēc ka tas ir treniņš. Um, I'm going to now ask you, es lūkšu jums, to tell me uh, you're going to give me some feedback. Uh, tagad uh, varbūt kad no tevis ir atpakaļ saikne. So, um, in our prophetic world, mūsu pravietiskajā pasaulē, when I prophesy, kad es pravietoju, I don't ever want to be afraid to hear from the person that I've just prophesied to. Es nebaidos dzirdēt atpakaļ no cilvēka, kuram es pravietoju. Uh, there was a time when I was like, oh, don't tell saums, me. Kad, uh, man likās, nesiķi man. Don't tell me if that was right or wrong. Vai tas bija pareizi vai nepareizi. Because <laughs> I was so insecure in my prophesying. Jūs bija tik nepārliecināta pravietošanā. But then I learned that tad es iemācījos, ka I learn, es iemācījos, I grow, Es ceļu, es, uh, and I become stronger. Es kļūstu stiprāka. When I ask people, so how was that for you? Jautāju, kā tas Did bija that make sense to you? Vai tas tam bija kāda nozīme priekš tevis? Uh, did the Lord speak to you through Vai that? Vai tevi caur šo? Did that encourage you? Vai tas iedrošināja tevi? Did that strengthen you? Vai tas stiprināja tevi? Okay, so I always encourage people, especially when you're learning and you're practicing. Tad, kad jūs mācaties, kad jūs praktizējat. Take the time to give a prophetic word. Ņemat laiku, lai pravietotu. And then ask somebody, how was that? Un tad prasiet, kā tas bija. What do you think? Ko tu domā? So in this moment, šajā momentā, I need to know that I know that I know. Zināt? Zināt? Man vajag zināt, ka es zinu, ka es zinu, ka es zinu. That I am loved. Ka es esmu mīlēta. Whether I get, the, get it right or wrong. Vai tas bija pareizi vai nepareizi. My value. Mana vērtība. My worth. Mana mm, vērtība. Is not dependent on what she says to me. Nav atkarīga no tā, ko viņa man pateiks. And if I really had that in my heart, ja manā sirdī tiešām tas ir, I'm not afraid to get the feedback. Um, man nav bail no šīs at, atgriezinās kā sēdes. Okay, so go ahead and tell us. Manā sirdī tiešām ir cilvēki vienmēr bijuši, kad es redzu, ka viņi ir salausti. Vai kad es redzu, ka kādam vajadzīga dziedināšana. Oh, 
manā prātā vienmēr tad ir tā doma, ka es gribētu lūgt par šiem cilvēkiem, bet uh, es nedaru to pietiekoši daudz. Un dažreiz prasu Dievam, lai viņš rāda kādu zīmi par šo situāciju. Tas tiešām ir manā sirdī. Mm-hmm. Un yes. būs yes. laiks, ka es būšu stiprāka yes. tajā. Good. Un tieši par emocionālu dziedināšanu man ir, man sirds ir par to, kā cilvēki jūtās. Awesome. So what do you feel like the Lord spoke to you through the prophecy? What was one of the most important things? Kas bija vēl svarīgākais, ko Dievs runā uz tevi? Es jūtu šo iedrošinājumu no viņa, vienkārši spēc awesome. šos soļus uz priekšu. Awesome. Yay, thank you, Jesus. Good. Paldies, God Jesus. is good. Dievs ir labs. Good. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll take a break. Is that okay? Well, we know. Are you pausi. guys okay? Visi, one more? We said lobby. Yeah, I hope this is helpful for Vēl you. Vienu. Okay, so um, when I'm in a church, kad es esmu draudzē, uh, and I'm prophesying from the front like this, un es pravietoju šādi no priekšas, I try to make myself uh, move into different sides of the room. Es kustos uz dažādām telpas pusēm. Uh, it's kind of easy like, okay, I prophesied over you and then I'm going to go here. Tur un tur pat palikt. But I know what it feels like to be in the audience. Bet es zinu, kā būt auditorijā. And be like, hey, what about us over here? Domāju, kā, kā ir par mums šajā pusē? So I, I force myself, oh, let's go over here. Es spiežu here. sevi atnākt uz citu pusi. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. Paldies, tev svētais gars. Okay, uh, this gentleman here. Uh, šis vīrs. Hello? Hello? What's your name? Sandis. Sandis? Sandis. I, I'm sure I didn't say it right. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Sandis. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Wow. So uh, you have a you're a, a man of integrity. 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 Uh, integrity. Uh, 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 tu vīrs, kas ir, uh, nu, tā kā vārda vīrs. Yeah. Uh, you have a strong character. Tev ir stiprs raksturs. And uh, you're so you've been so faithful to the Lord. Tu esi bijis ļoti uzticams Dievam. Um, I see that you're like a pillar of strength. Es redzu tevi arī kā šo spēku. And uh, in the spirit realm the Lord is continuing to strengthen you. Un garīgajā pasaulē Dievs turpina tevi vēl spēcināt. You have a mind that questions things. Tev ir prāts, kas ļoti, tā kā, varbūt apšauba lietas. You like to you like to know the why behind things. Uzdot jautājumus, kāpēc, kas, kā, kāpēc aiz kaut kādām lietām. Uh, but the brain that you have is the one that God has given you and bet, he loves it. Šis prāts, kas tev ir, tas ir dots no Dieva. The way that your patīk, tas, the way that your mind works uh, brings glory to the Lord. Tas, kā tavs prāts strādā, tas nes slavu Dievam. And uh, the Lord is going to continue to add strength to you. Un Dievs turpinās dot vēl spēku tev. Uh, you're an example for people. Tu esi piemērs cilvēkiem. In, in as they are pursuing God, lai viņi uh, meklētu Dievu. Uh, you're you are able to say don't give up. Un uh, tu esi spējīgs pateikt viņiem nepadodies. Yeah, and I just I see you uh, you're an encourager. Es redzu tevi kā iedrošinātāju. You're like championing people, encouraging people. Tu esi kā čempions un uh, iedrošinātājs. Uh, do you like to encourage people? Vai tev patīk iedrošināt cilvēkus? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so I just feel like today the Lord wants to... Uh, more than uh, myself. Encourage yes. others more than myself. Yeah. Yes, well, that's the same for all of us. <laughs> uh, but the Lord wants you to know that you have a gift of encouragement. Lai tu zini, ka tev ir specifiska iedrošināšanas dāvana. So it's not just something that's in your personality. Tas nav vienkārši, kas ir tavā raksturā. But it's a gift of encouragement. Bet tas ir iedrošināšanas dāvana. So what does that mean? Ko tas nozīmē? Uh, that means that every time you encourage someone, tas nozīmē, katreiz, kad tu kādu iedrošini, the Holy Spirit is on those words. Svētais gars ir uz šiem vārdiem. And they bring transformation to people. Un viņš nes transformāciju cilvēkiem. So when you hear an encouraging thought for someone, kad tu dzirdi kādu iedrošinājumu kādam cilvēkam, uh, from this point forward, you no want to uh, attach faith to it. Uh, pieliec ticību tam. Because your encouraging words are changing people's lives. Jo tavi iedrošinošie vārdi maina cilvēku dzīves. 
You're, you're going to be getting more and more thoughts and encouraging thoughts for people. Ar vien vairāk un vairāk tev būs iedrošināši vārdi priekš cilvēkiem. And the Lord wants you just to know that there's power on every word. Un Dievs grib, lai tu zini, ka spēks ir uz katra vārda. And it changes people's lives. Tas maina cilvēku dzīves. It brings transformation. Tas nes transformāciju. And it changes their future. Un maina viņu nākotni. So you're a, you're a man of hope. Tu esi ticības, cerības cilvēks. The Lord has been stirring up in you hope. Uh, un Dievs tā kā uzjundīja vēl vairāk šo cerību. And it's like contagious. Un tas ir tā kā lipīgs. It's in your spirit. Tas ir tavā garā. And it's coming out of your spirit. Tas nāk no tava gara. And people are going to catch. Un cilvēki saķers. It's like the best disease on the planet. Kā labāko slimību uz pasaules. They're going to catch hope from you. Viņi saķers šo cerību no tevis. And their hearts are going to be filled with hope. Un viņu sirdis būs pilnas ar cerību. Because uh, you have set your mind to trust God ja even through the hard situations. Ja tu grūtās situācijās esi uzticējies Dievam. And in the hard places you have said God I'm going to trust you. Grūtībās tu esi teicis Dievs es uzticēšos tev. And he is showing himself faithful to you. Un viņš tu esi parādījis viņam cik tu esi bijis uzticams. And he is going to show himself even more faithful. Un viņš tev rādīs cik viņš ir uzticams tev vēl vairāk. And you're going to tell your story. Un tu stāstīs savu stāstu. And people are going to be so strengthened. Cilvēki būs ļoti stiprināti. And they're going to be full of hope. Un būs pilni ar cerību. So you are a carrier of hope. Tu esi cerības nesējs. You're not just a, a powerful encourager, you're also a man of hope. And, and so uh, the Lord is saying, just give it away. Uh, uh, release it. Dot to, it to. Yeah, and when you walk into a room, un tad, kad tu telpā, you can feel sometimes that it feels hopeless. Tu jūti, ka ir bezcerība. You can have confidence that the spirit of hope that you carry is more powerful than the hopelessness. Tu vari būt droši, ka šī cerības atmosfēra, kas ir uz tevis, viņa ir spēcīgāka par bezcerību. Yeah, your spirit of hope that's in you is very strong and very powerful. Tavs cerības gars ir ļoti spēcīgs. Yeah, and the Lord is going to be increasing you in the gift of prophecy. Dievs arī tā kā stiprinās tevi vēl arī pravietošanas dāvanā. So I just loosen your tongue. Es atraistu tavu mēli. Open up your mouth. Atraistu tavu muti. Because your gift of encouragement is part of the gift of prophecy. Jo tava iedrošināšanas dāvana ir daļa no pravietošanas dāvanas. So I just I release you to es be free. Es to atraisu, lai tu esi brīvs. To take risks, lai riskētu, to practice, lai praktizētos, learn and grow. Lai mācītos yeah, un pieaugtu. In Jesus name, amen. Ja Bless amen. you. Okay, so go ahead and uh, you can give me some tu feedback. Tu arī pateikt atpakaļ. Uh, I absolutely agree with everything. <laughs> If I feel somebody is really like down and uh, discouraged, I always feel like this uh, to strengthen them. Even if I uh, myself I feel discouraged. <laughs> And even it's like when I give this strength to others, I feel like this uh, the strength of God and myself, I, I also start to feel better yes. doing that. <laughs> and I, I, not once I go pass by somebody that is discouraged. That's awesome. <laughs> so good. Uh, I feel like this is a mission for me mm -hmm. and God uses it. Yes. Yep. Yes. In all of the levels. In the work, in the relationships with people. Yes. Yes. Um, just society overall, in the church. Okay, so, uh, uh, so uh, super fun. Really fun and exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use you as an example. Is that okay? Un es tevi paņemšu kā piemēru, vai labi? I won't yeah. hurt, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you do when you get a prophetic word like that? Ko jūs darat, kad jūs saņemat šādu pravietisku vārdu? 
So we as a church need to learn what to do with these kind of words. Mums draudze, ko darīt ar šādu vārdu. Uh, because that prophetic word is encouraging to you. Uh, but it can be actually even more powerful if we know how to partner with the word. Tas var būt vēl spēcīgāk, kad tu zini, kā um, tā kā sadarboties ar vārdu. So, I've never met you before. Es nekad pirms tam neesmu tevi satikusi. I know nothing about you. Es neko nezinu par tevi. But then I describe you. Bet es tevi aprakstīju. Because I'm hearing from the Holy Spirit. Jo es dzirdu no svētā gara. So, once again, uh, before I started speaking, I knew nothing, I heard nothing. Vēlreiz es saku, ka pirms es sāku runāt, es neko nezināju. And there's lots of times when I feel desperate before the Holy Spirit. Un daudzas reizes es jūtos tā kā um, izmisusi oh, pēc tā gara. I ask you to stand up. Un es lūdzu tev piecelties. And I have nothing in my head. Un manā galvā nekas nebī. Uh, do you think that you would panic maybe? Uh, vai jūs domājat, jums būtu panika? I, I've learned to not panic. Es negribu pan, nu, iet panikā. <laughs> okay, maybe I panic a little bit Nu, varbūt still. nedaudz. <laughs> but I just know that God wants to speak to you. Bet es zinu, ka Dievs grib runāt uz tevi. And I'm not afraid to get it wrong. Un es nebaidos, ka es kļūdīšos. So I want you to say that right now. Tāpēc gribu, lai jūs pasakat tagad. I'm not afraid to get it wrong. Es nebaidīšos kļūdīties. Okay, with a little more conviction. Nedaudz pārliecinātāk pasakam. Okay, come on. I am es not afraid to get it wrong. Es nebaidos yeah, kļūdīties. There you, go. there you go. I am not afraid to get it wrong. Es nebaidos kļūdīties. Oh, Jesus, help us. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, what do you do with that word? Ko tu dari ar šo vārdu? Anybody? What are your thoughts? What do you do with a word like this? Uh, God is like um, freeing me to step and uh, and uh, to speak what I think God wants to speak to people, and I don't analyze, I don't like uh, make people like who is important or not important. I just I feel free to go and speak what God wants to speak to people. Uh, maybe it, it's a politician, or yes, uh, maybe just a worker, or it doesn't matter, or pastor, maybe. So good, yes. Good answer. <laughs> I love it. <that. laughs> good, you can sit down. Thank you, that is so good. So, uh, what I want to encourage you to do when you get a prophetic word, uh, kad jūs vārdu, and it really speaks to your heart. It, 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 inside, you're like, yes, that was God. Jūs, jūs, jūs jūtat, Jā, tas ir priekš manis. And you get a word like that. Jums ir šāds vārds. That says, here's your gifting. Uh, un Dievs saka, re, kur ir tava dāvana. It is from the Lord. Tas ir no Dieva. Now go for it. Tagad ej. <laughs> so, you, as you said, now you have more encouragement to, and freedom. Tā kā tu teici, tev ir vairāk brīvības un iedrošinājumu to darīt. To act in your gift. Lai vienkārši darbotos savā dāvanā. But I also want to say one more thing. Bet vēl viena lieta es gribu pateikt. Um, I want you to add faith to every time you speak. Kad es gribu, lai tu pieliec ticību katru reizi, kad tu runā. So I said to you, uh, your words change people's lives. Es teicu, tavi vārdi maina cilvēku dzīves. So if I get a word like that, tad, kad man, piemēram, ir tāds vārds, and I agree, yeah, that's me and that's es the Lord, un es piekrītu, jā, tā, tāda es esmu, tas ir no Dieva, then my responsibility mana atbildība is to now speak with faith. Ir tagad katreiz, kad es to runā, runā ticībā. That I expect when I encourage you. Ka es sagaidu, ka tad, kad es iedrošinu tevi, you're never going to be the same again. Tu nekad vairs nebūs tāds pats. I expect it. Es sagaidu. I expect it. Es sagaidu. I, I, I actually don't think anything else is possible. Es nedomāju, ka varbūt jebkas cits ir iespējams. Because I know this is how I'm made. Es zinu, ka es esmu tā radīts. And I know that this is what God has spoken. Un es zinu, ka tas ir tas, ko Dievs runājis. So now I raise my expectation. Un tagad es paceļu to sagaidīšanu par to. I raise my expectation. Es paceļu for the kingdom of God to come through me as I speak. Lai Dieva valstī varētu darboties caur mani, kad es runāju. I expect that there's life es on my sagaidu, words. 
Um, there's life on my words. Ka uz maniem vārdiem ir dzīvība. And that the Holy Spirit is actively working. Un ka Svētais Gars aktīvi darbojas. So now your responsibility. Tava atbildība. As I use you as an example. Yes, I am a Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. You can sit down. Uh, but your responsibility now is to speak with faith. So, what does that look like practically? So, I'm a very practical person. I'm a very practical teacher. Um, I like great ideas. Man patīk, uh, but I like even more to know how does it actually change my life. But uh, man patīk redzēt, kā tas So very practically. Ļoti praktiski. You would give me an encouraging word. Tu varētu iedot man iedrošinošu vārdu. And then you can tell me. Un tu vari man pateikt. This is going to change your life. Tas izmainīs tavu dzīvi. You, you have permission to say that. Tev ir uh, atļauja ja to darīt. Because the Lord has dropped that into you. He's given you that. Jo Dievs tevī to ir ielicis. So you can say to people. Tu vari teikt cilvēkiem. So you should be watching. Uh, tev skatīties. And let me know how this changes your life. Un uh, redzēt, kā tas maina tavu dzīvi. Because I'm, so, I'm so sure. Es esmu pilnīgi pārliecināts. I'm so confident in God. Esmu pārliecināts Dievā. So some of you go, oh, that sounds kind of arrogant. Dažiem no jums liekas, varbūt tas izklausās tā augstprātīgi. Some of us go, oh, isn't that prideful? Dažiem liekas, varbūt tas ir lepni. No, it's called Nē. releasing the glory of God on the earth. Tas nozīmē atraisīt Dievu slavu šeit uz zemes. Romans 8, chapter 8. Romiešiem vēstu Here's what it says. It says the earth is longing. The earth is longing for the glory of God to be released through the sons and daughters of God. So when you get a prophetic word like I just gave you, you attaching faith to your gift, that's the glory of the Lord being released on the earth. And so as sons and daughters of God, we have permission to get excited when we use our gift. We have permission to go, your life is about to be changed. It's a gift, right? It's not you that's doing it. It's the Holy Spirit doing it through you. It's the power of God working through you. So when I say to somebody, I have a word for you and it's going to change your life. Un tas izmainīs tavu dzīvi. That's okay. I have permission to say that. Normāli, to var teikt. I'm not the one changing your life. Es neesmu tā, kas maina tavu dzīvi. I know that. Es to zinu. It's God that's going to change your life. Dievs mainīs tavu dzīvi. But I attach my faith to my words. Tas piestiprina saviem vārdiem ticību. I know I'm called to prophesy. Es zinu, ka esmu aicināts pravietot. I know I have a gift of prophecy. Es zinu, ka man ir pravietošanas dāvana. So when I start prophesying, I'm excited. Pravietot, es esmu sajūsma. Your life is never going to be the same again. Jo tava dzīve nekad vairs nebūs tāda pati. And that's the glory of the Lord being released on the earth. kas atraisās šeit uz zemes. So whatever your gift is, lai kāda būtu tava dāvana, don't hold back. Neturi to. Take, ne, neturi to. Take risks. Riskē. Take chances. Ņem šīs iespējas. But expect God to move sagaidi, through you. Sagaidi, ka Dievs darbosies caur tevi to change lives to change the world. Lai izmainītu dzīves, lai izmainītu pasauli. So when you get a prophetic word like that. Kad tu saņem šādu prophetisku vārdu. Your responsibility is to attach faith to it. Tava atbildība ir piestiprināt ticību. And then you go forward in faith. Un tad tu eji uz priekšu šajā ticībā. So sometimes maybe maybe a lot of times. Varbūt bieži vien. I don't feel full of faith. Es nejūtos tā kā pilnā ar ticību. Like you said. Tā kā tu teici. Sometimes you feel discouraged. Dažreiz tu pats jūties uh, diezgan nomāks. But you have an encouraging word for someone. Bet tev ir kādam iedrošinošs vārds. So that's the beautiful thing about co-laboring with Jesus. Tā ir, tā ir tāda skaista lieta, kā sadarboties ar Jēzu. That the power of God is not dependent on my perfection, it's dependent on his perfection. Ka uh, Dieva spēks nebalstās uz manu, uz mani, bet Dieva spēks baida, balstās uz pašu viņu, uz to, ka viņš ir ideāls. That is good news for us. Tad tas ir labā ziņas priekš mums. Right? So I don't always have to be full of faith. Man nevienmēr jābūt pilnē ar ticību. Right? I can have just a little bit of faith. Man varbūt nedaudz ticību. And then other times I'm going to be Un full of faith. Es jūtu, ka es pilnē ar ticību. But when I have little faith, I bet should still 
will act. Mas ticības man tik un tā vajag darboties. I should still speak. Man tik un tā vajag runāt. Or pray for that person. Vai lūgt par to Or whatever it is that the Lord has Vēl gifted nauda. you to do. Lai ko Dievs ar devis tev darīt. So we just bless you. Mēs svētījam tevi. We speak blessing over you in the name of Jesus. Mēs svētījam tevi Jēzus vārdā. That, that everyone that comes in contact Katrs, with you. Kon, nāks kontaktā ar tevi. Never going to be the same again. Nekad vairs nepaliks tāds pats. In Jesus name. Yes, Okay, all right, we'll take a break. Lāpēc.